Hey everyone, today is not a jam video. I want to make a quick tutorial about TotalMix FX loopback features. So for those of you who are using TotalMix FX, which is the software mixer that comes with every RME audio interface, I'm going to show you a real example of how to use the loopback features. So for that example, I'm going to use two units of Minilog XD. They are chained in poly mode, chain mode, which means that um, one is the master, the other is the slave. And this way I can double the polyphony of a single unit from four to eight voices and get fatter sounds, for example. So here in TotalMix FX, you can see one hardware input that takes the Minilog XD master and another hardware input that takes the Minilog XD slave. So if I trigger a knot repetitively, you will see that. And you can see how it works. Um, the polychain mode distributes the audio to one and the other units, depending on how many free voices you have. So it's a bit strange, but yeah, that's how it works. So in my DAO, I also have two audio channels, one for each Minilog XD because I have one audio channel corresponding to one hardware interface input and another one. And that's where I am a bit troubled because I would like, I'd rather have only one audio track in my DAW because I don't see the, pain, the point to have two of them since it's the same instrument, produces the same sound, and I want to process it uh, similarly. So I'd rather have a merge channel here. And to do that, I could, of course, have a, a hardware mixer that I would have plugged between the Minilog XD output and the audio interface. So hardware mixer and I would have only one channel here with the merged Minilog XD. But my point is, is to avoid uh, also um, adding too much hardware in my already packed setup and to leverage the power of the audio interface. And this can be done with the so-called loopback feature. So how are we gonna do this? Do this? So what we want to achieve is to be able to have one dedicated channel for our both Minilog XD. So how do we create an input channel for that? Well, in TotalMix FX, the loopback feature is exactly done for that. I mean, there are tons of usage of this feature, but this is perfectly um, applicable in my case. What you just need to do is, among all of your available hardware outputs, select one, I should say sacrifice one, that's available. And for example, in my case, I have a NADAT one, two, available, which I don't use currently. So I'm going to select this output and I'm going to engage the loopback button on the bottom right of this channel. Let's do this. Once the loopback function is activated on one output channel, what it does is that it simply routes internally the output of the channel into the corresponding hardware input. As if you would have plugged 
a physical cable between the output and the output. Except this happens internally, virtually, you don't need to plug anything. All right? Okay, so now the loopback feature is, is uh, engaged. As for uh, any other output, we have to tell Total Mix FX how much of this input signal we want to have available at this output. And this is done by first selecting the output and then raising the faders of your input. I'm going to put the max here and here. So this way, that much of the signal coming into your interface will go through this output. Now let's, let's bring this uh, new audio input into our DAW. Let's create another, another audio track. Let's select the new input. Make sure in the config uh, you have activated this input, otherwise it won't be available for your DAW. Okay, it's checked. Right. Okay. It's arm for record. Let's hit the key. All right. And let's bring the auto mode. All right. Okay. As you can see, there is no signal here yet. And why is that? Yeah, simply because the amount of signal available at this new input is governed by this fader, because this fader represents the output level, okay? And remember that this is a copy of your output level, so you have to bring that up as well. Once this is done, you can see the signal. And of course you can hear it's doubling because we still have this uh, other input. So we can simply mute them and even get rid of them because that was the point, <laughs> that was the goal. The initial goal was to simplify everything and get only one channel. And look at that. You only have one channel. All right. And that's it. That's really it. So let's recap. Take a free output. Send input signal to this output by raising the input fader. Activate the loopback function. This will copy the output signal to the corresponding input. Raise the output fader to tell how much of the signal you want to appear at this input. And then you just have to use that new input in your DAW. Two remarks. First, you may notice that you don't see any signal in the view matter here. That's, that's what makes sometimes total, total mix FX confusing for beginners, but that's okay. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. You can verify that in your DAW. That's because the view matter here represents only what's coming into the hardware input. So if you have something ready plugged in this input, and if your loopback function is not activated. If you activate the loopback function, you won't see what's coming physically inside in, into this uh, input, okay? And that's perfectly normal. That's the way it is. That's because the viewmeter only represents what's physically come into the inputs and nothing else. They won't show what's coming from this loopback hack, I should say. It's loopback virtual routing in there, okay? So don't get uh, confused by that. Just check that you are. You do have an input signal coming into your DAW and that's okay. The only thing that has been done by RME so far is to add this little uh, orange dot to signal that this input is used by a loopback function. So if you don't see something, just check if the loopback function is uh, activated here and that would tell you that, yeah, it's normal that you don't see anything because it's used in a loopback somewhere, okay? And the second tip I would give you is that when you are using, for example, this two mini lock XD there, and you want to change the input signal of this uh, hardware synth, um, you, for example, want to low, lower the level, and you want the same here. 
that's not very precise. One way to do that is to use the grouping fader feature of Total Mix FX. And once your channels are grouped, they appear red as red, and you, when you move one, basically the other one move uh, in parallel. So that's very, very convenient. And that's it. I hope uh, this video brought some value and answered some of our, your questions regarding uh, the loopback feature of Total Mix FX RME Mixer. Thanks for watching. Bye.